Hey guys, what's up? So today we're actually going to be looking at the decimal system. All right. Uh, so let's lead, let's read this little paragraph here. Human beings normally have ten fingers and ten toes, so it is natural for us to count in groups of ten. Our normal counting system is base ten. All right. Because the group sizes used are multiples of ten, and it is therefore called the denary system or the decimal system. Okay. In counting the number of things, we always use groups, and the base of a number is the size of the group used, hence base 10. In the decimal system, we use 10 digits, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9, right? So this would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10, right? Which would be 10 basically 10 numbers, right? Okay, so each digit has a place value, which is a multiple of 10, okay? And let's explain how uh, we actually do it here. So let's look at this number 9,734, right? And the base is actually base 10, right? Uh, and what we're gonna do here is we're gonna write it out as multiples of 10. So the first one would be nine, times 1,000, right, which is the 9,000. Then the second one would be 7 times 100, because that would be hundreds, right, 700. And then the next one would be 3 times 10, right, and then the next one would be 4 times 10 to the 0, where 10 to the 0 is actually equal to 1. Remember that's uh, identity, right? So let's write them out in terms of multiples of 10 now. This one would be 9 times 10 to the 3, which is the same thing as 1000, plus 7 times 10 to the 2, plus 3 times 10 to the 1, plus 4 times 10 to the 0, okay? And this is the same thing as 9734, okay? Where 10 to the 3 is the thousands, 10 to the 2 is the hundreds, 10 to the 1 is the tens, and these would be considered, the 4s would be considered the 1s, okay? So this is basically the system that we've, we have always been using, you know? Uh, even if you didn't know, this is really what it's called, okay? And there are actually other bases, right? Uh, like base 2, where you only use 0 and 1, right? Uh, but we're not going to look at that right now. We're just going to focus on uh, the decimal system. All right, so let's look at another example. All right, guys, so we're going to look at another example now. And uh, we have just a general statement up here for um, the decimal system. It says each digit in a number has a place value in terms of powers of 10. All right, which is definitely true. So let's look at... All right, guys, so we're going to look at a number. Let's call it 9,000. No, let's use 951,719. All right. So this is the number we're going to use. And we're going to write this out in terms of uh, the, uh, the um, decimal system here. So the 9, um, it's really just a place value in terms of the power of 10, right? So this is really just 9 times 10 to the what? This would be what? Um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, right? 9 times 10 to the 5, okay? Um, and this would be what? 100,000, right? Yeah, in terms of 100,000. So it's 900,000 there, all right? Um, and then the next one would be 5, Right, this is actually a 5 times 10 to the 4, which would be in 10 thousands. All right, and then the next one would be 1 times 10 to the 3, which would be thousands. Right, then the next one would be 7 times 10 to the 2, which would be hundreds. No, yeah, yeah, hundreds, seven hundreds. Right. Then the next one would be 1 times 10 to the 1, which is uh, 10, right? 1 tens. 
and then the last one would be 9 times 10 to the 0, but 10 to the 0 is 1, so you would have 9 ones, right? And this is really the, the system that we use um, for uh, for just in general life, right? We use this system all the time. Uh, it's wonderful, it's beautiful, and uh, it, it's, it's, it's very practical, okay? So let's look at another case now, all right? Um, and we're going to look at decimals in this case. We're not going to use, um, we're not going to be looking at just normal numbers now. We're going to look at decimals, which is actually uh, below zero, okay? No, not below zero. Uh, no, it wouldn't be below zero. It's really between zero and one, okay? So we're going to look at numbers between zero and one or smaller than uh, just very small numbers, okay? And in this case, let's use the same uh, type of decimal, right? We're going to have 0 0.9517119, okay? Um, so how would we write this, okay? It's actually a representation of tens as well. So the zero, this zero here would actually be zero times 10 to the, to the naught which is zero times one, right? Which would give you zero. Then the next one, the nine would be nine times 10 to the negative one, okay? Um, and if you multiply nine times 10 to the negative one, it would actually be nine over 10, okay? Which makes sense because nine over 10 is actually 0 0.9. So that makes perfect sense, okay? So you see how amazing and detailed this system is. It really works, bro. Um, it's amazing, all right? So let's continue now, and the next one would be five times 10 to the negative two, okay? Which would be the same thing as uh, five over 100, right? Which would be 0 0.05, right? Which is the same thing as that point here, which would be 0 0.05, right? Absolutely amazing. Then the next one now is actually one times 10 to the minus three, uh, which would be 0 0.001. Then the next one would be 7 times 10 to the minus 4 plus 1 times 10 to the minus 5 plus 9 times 10 to the minus 6, right? Um, so all of these represent all these positions in the, in the decimal, all right? So they're all, every number that, that's that you can think of that's in the binary, not in the binary, that's in the denary system, uh, in the decimal system, is actually just a representation of, of um, tens, right? Let's write a, a number um, just like this one, 951719.951719. This number is the same thing as this here up top plus this here down the bottom, right? Um, and that's really all it is, okay? So this is what this is what decimals really are, okay? Um, this is what the decimal system is about. And let's just look at one more decimal to kind of give you the the, um, the the proper representation for what a decimal uh, kind of is. All right, guys, so let's look at another decimal. Um, let's say 0 0.4597, all right? And remember, in the decimal system, each digit in a number has a place value in terms of, in terms of powers of 10, right? So same thing. This 0 would be 0 times 10 to the 0, which would be 0 times 1, which would be 0, right? Plus... This 4 would be 4 times 10 to the negative 1, which is the same thing as 4 over 10, which is the same thing as 0 0.4, right? Um, then this one, the 5 would be 5 times 10 to the minus 2, which is the same thing as 5 over 100, right? Which is the same thing as 0 0.05, which would represent this space here. Then the next one would be 9 times 10 to the minus 3, which is nine over a thousand. Then the next one would be seven times 10 to the minus four, which would be 
seven over ten thousand, right? So this is the same thing as as the decimal zero point four five nine seven, all right? And this is really what decimals are represented as. Decimals are represented um, in this form, in the form of uh, powers of 10 instead of as a fraction, right? Um, so let's look at a fraction. Let's say 50 over 1,000, right? Um, this would be the same thing as, let's, these zeros cancel, same thing as 5 over 100, and you would write it as 0 0.05, um, right? Yeah, 0 0.05, all right? Just like this one. So it's the same thing as 5 times 10 to the minus 2. This is the same thing as 5 times 10 to the minus 2. And it's really the same representation. So fractions and decimals are the same thing, okay? Um, it's just that decimals are represented by um, in terms of powers of 10. And fractions are still represented in terms of powers of 10 to a certain extent, um, but not um, the entire uh decimal you know you, fractions can be different for example you can have three over four which is not a representation in tens really uh yeah so great so yeah this is pretty much the introduction to the decimal system and in the next video we're actually going to look at different systems uh which would be the binary system which is base two uh we're going to actually look at base four five and eight i think so we're going to look at different bases all right all right so thank you so much for your time and have a wonderful day guys all right guys so that's it and i'll see you in the next lecture and remember to do your best and god will do the rest